Do you have any hobbies? I mean, or do you do nothing else but just dry no, clean? No, I'm a strong man. You're a strong man? Yes. What, what do you mean? You've been eating her garlic? <laughs> no, not yet. Well, in what way are you a strong man? Well, I used to be with Ripley, believe it or not. Oh. And I did such stunts as let six men choke me, drive a 40-penny nail through a two-before with one punch of my fist, break three-quarter-inch ropes, pull 14-ton fire trucks with my teeth, let any six men choke me. Are there six men in the audience that would like to come up and, <laughs> and strangle this chap? Do you still perform any of these feats of strength? Uh, what I'm getting is, could you do something for us? I yes, I could. I don't want anybody to throttle you up here, but could you do something? Yes, I could. Gotcha. What? I could blow up and bust a brand new automobile inner tube. Well, why would anybody want to blow up an inner tube? <laughs> I don't know. I just like to blow them up. <laughs> is this why your wife calls you a windbag? That's right. Have you got an inner tube on you? I well, you have yeah. one wrapped around here. I no, think. no, that's solid. You you say you have one? I have an inner tube with me. Well, could you roll it out? Here? Yes, I could. Could you get it? Would you like to see him blow? Yes, I like to see him. Like to see him blow. <laughs> say, how long does it take to blow that thing up before you start? Uh, it'll take anywhere from two to eight minutes. Well, that's a long time. I mean. Uh, we haven't got that much time. We got to get on with the quiz. We only have a half hour. Oh. You know, could you blow up the inner tube and still answer the quiz questions? Well, I don't think so. Right Simultaneously? So. I don't think I. Well, I might, but I, I'd rather have my wife come up here. And your take wife? Part. Yeah. Yes, Mrs. Windbag wife. is in the audience. Yes, yeah, she's in the audience. What's your wife's name? Pauline. Pauline. Would you mind hopping up here? Pauline. <coughs> Pauline. Come up here. I want you to meet. Uh, shake hands with Fatty. No, no. I mean. I mean your husband. <laughs> Fatty Mosley. You get right here this microphone. What is this? That's air. That's air, huh? No, she had you ticketed all right. Now, Windbag, is there any danger of this inner tube blowing the audience out of the theater? Well, it's according to where I'm standing here, Groucho. Uh -huh. Stand outside on the corner around San Francisco. <laughs> Now, you, you start blowing, and we'll keep an eye on you during the quiz. And Windbag, if you want to, you can help answer the questions while you're taking a breath. Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, go ahead, Windbag, blow. Now, you selected cities and small towns of the United States. I'll give you four cities or towns in a particular state, and you identify the states. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Now, here are the cities and towns. Winchester, Springfield, Shawneetown, and Rock Island. What is the state? Illinois. <laughs> Illinois is what? <laughs> All right, and what state are these places? Batavia, Ithaca, Albany, and Penn Yan. Uh, Albany, Ithaca, Batavia, and Penn Yan. Excuse me. New York. And New York is right. Now, you got two right. Right. <laughs> in what state are Carrington, Bismarck, Beach, and uh, Pheasanton? <laughs> North Dakota is right. Now you got three. One more right. You'll have a thousand dollars. I can't think. He scares me. <laughs> in what state would you find Columbia, Greenville, Gaffney, and Walhalla? What is the state you'll find these places? Columbia, Greenville, Gaffney, and Walhalla. Walhalla. Oh, I'm sorry. It's South Carolina. You have one wrong. In what state would you find Frostburg, Hagerstown, Annapolis, and Snow Hill? Uh, Annapolis, you know where the Naval Academy. Where's the Naval Academy? Well, it's Maryland. Maryland. Well, I'm sorry. You know, after two words. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's over with that one. <laughs> Where, over here? Here's the same place. <laughs> one for your lives! Ha, ha, ha.
going to give you a whole new category. I'm going to give you four more questions because it isn't fair. <laughs> Portland, Kennebunk, Skowhegan, and Augusta. Oh, Maine! That's right. Painesville, Youngstown, Sandusky, and Marion. Maryland? 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 Ohio. Think, think before you answer. Ohio. Ohio? You said Ohio, that's right. Now you got two. Now you have two rights. Two more. Oh. I'm going to give you Sneedville, Nashville, Knoxville, and Shelbyville. That's Tennessee. That's what? Tennessee. That's right. Now you got three rights. Oh, you got, you got, uh, uh, you got three you right. One more. one more right and you'll have a thousand dollars. Titusville, Newcastle, Oil City, and Carlisle. What state? Think now. <laughs> Titusville, Newcastle, Oil City, and Carlisle. Carlisle. No. Huh? Yeah. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's right. You got one four in a row, you win one thousand dollars. <laughs> Isn't it, isn't it romantic when two windbags get together? <laughs> now you've won a thousand dollars so far. Now you can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to, for five or even ten thousand dollars. So go over there and sit down and think about it, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you Till so back. much. That means that both of our couples can try for the double chance at five or ten thousand dollars tonight. Well, Groucho, our uh, our last couple, Jack Mosley and Junko Gordon, have decided not to try for the big question. But here is our first couple, Mrs. Hendricks and Mr. Fielding, to give us their decision. Now you've won a thousand dollars so far. If you decide to try for the big money and you fail, you wind up with a total of five hundred. What are you going to do? Well, I want to keep what I have. You're going to keep your five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and uh, what are you going to do? I'll go, Groucho. You're going to go. All right, thanks for being on the show, Canada. Now, uh, you pick a number. Uh, on this side, if you win, it'll be $5,000. On this side, $2,500 because you're single. Now, we're going to give you two chances at the wheel, so think first of a number between 1 and 10. 6. 6. Now, wait a minute, that's for 5000 Now, think of another number for $2,500. Uh, 2. Okay, five, 6 and 2. Now, turn the wheel. Well, neither number came up, so this question is worth $1,000. Pope John the 23rd was elevated in November of 58. He was known as the Patriarch of what city? Tell me the answer and you win $1,000. Venice. 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 Patriarch of Venice, I don't know what you can argue about that. That's right, you won $1,000. What are you going to do with the money? Well, I'll probably turn it over to my wife. <laughs> Congratulations and thanks for being with us. You bet your life.